that brings up an interesting point. Let's let's. let's um, you always, I recommend spending time practicing. You know, when you practice, practice the way you're going to play. Okay. All right. So one thing I do is that I get my performance position. You know, now some guys like to sit down and play. You know, some but a lot a lot of people stand up. Whatever that might be for you. Um, okay. You want to do for me? It's standing up. You know, generally, you know, if I. If I, I think if I, if I sat down on gigs, I'd probably get fired. You know, they want you to stand up. <laughs> they think you don't, not taking it seriously if you don't stand for some reason. Anyway, this is my performance position. Okay. Right, so when I play, the bass is always right here. You know, I don't hold it with my hands. Be careful not to, you know, like if you're playing and you let go and it moves, uh -huh. then you're using hand energy to hold the instrument. That's what the strap's right. for, right? So when you're yeah. playing... My hands come off the bass, no matter what I'm doing. Same place. You know, it's just all that's playing stuff. I'm not using. I'm not holding it, and letting it go down. That's important. Okay. Gotcha. Now, also, if I sit down, nothing changes. That's important. Because Stage. sometimes you'll sit down and it'll go back over this way. And, you know, I've seen guys like spend hours here. And then they go to play and it swings around differently. So you're kind of sending conflicting information to the muscle memory. Ah, uh, okay. So being as, cons it's not a deal breaker. You know, I mean, there are plenty of people who I've seen do it, you know, and they're fine. I mean, but I, I believe it does slow down technical development a little bit because you're practicing one way playing in another. Oh, no. So oh. as consistent as you can stand to keep that, I would, I would recommend that you, you know, think about that when you play. Okay. Because I think it does help lock things in a little faster. You know? No, that's a good point. Um, also, now, with your left hand position. Yeah. Did I send you that video about left hand technique on the email? Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to send you a video for that. Okay. One thing about, now, this guy on the video explains it real good, so I'll let him, like, handle the details. But basically, it's this. Left-hand technique, if you just, like, hold your left hand and relax it out like this. Yeah. Flip the hand over. Slide the bass neck in. Now, what do you notice about that? You see where your thumb is, like, pointing towards the headstock? Yeah. That's just no most natural. See, you're, like, putting the most natural position to the bass neck. So okay. that when you play... The thumb is not going to be like this. Right. Is that Because if you compare those two things, that tightens up my whole arm when I do that. Yeah. So just let it be relaxed like this. And when you move on the base, it'll stay pointing towards the headstock. And actually, when you get higher, it'll come out over the neck this way. When you get up here, you play like this. Okay. So, so you can reach out over the base and kind of brace the hand on the bottom, you know, the, the heel of the hand on the bottom of the neck there to get up oh. in here so that you can comfortably, like, uh... Okay. See, if I, I, you know, it hurts my hand if I try to play it with the, the thumb yeah, on the neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good point. Now, this is a, there's an exercise um, I kind of stumbled into by accident just, I think, talking about this with somebody one time. I call it the rail exercise. Okay. What it does is it's, it tells you exactly where your hand wants to be in its most natural position when you play in any position or any place on the neck. So if I, like, put all four fingers just down on my G string, mm -hmm. you know, just put, like, don't worry about frets or anything. You're just putting them all down like you're going to play all those notes at the same time, right? Okay. And then I just keep playing pressure on all those fingers, and I just let it slide like on a rail, like a train car on a rail. See how the thumb wants to come up in a certain place? It just tells you. Yeah. This is a, this is a very telling way of, you know, figuring out where your hand should be in any given place on the neck. So okay. do that on all strings, and you'll find that the thumb will want to come out a little bit sooner on the lower strings than it does on the higher ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. So that's a real, real kind of easy way to figure out, you know, well, where should my hand be here? 
Well, just right. do this, and they'll tell you. Your hand will be happy to let you know. Okay. But I'm, anyway, I'm going to send those videos and stuff because, you know, a lot that you can make things easier to do. Yeah. You know, because generally if something's difficult, there's probably a better choice. You <laughs> yeah. know? And because you always, always had yeah. trying now, to reach and keep my thumb there. Yeah, you break your hand doing that, you know? I mean, <laughs> I mean it hurts. You know? Yeah. Um, All right. Well. But always trying to play what I call the default position, meaning what the most relaxed position for the hand is where I like to play. Even okay. down here, a lot of people will say do one finger per fret. Yeah. No, because, you know, if I, if, you know, what if I just did this? I was just playing this. That's a lot easier going one four than it is one three. Now I'm having to reach a little bit to do the third finger there, but just there's, if I if that's all I'm playing, there's no reason not to do that. Right. The only reason I wouldn't do it if if I had a line like. Um, Where I needed to use all four, you know, on on frets like that, and I was moving yeah. faster. Okay. But even if I was moving slow, like. Rather than go one, two, three, four, two, four, like keeping this one finger per fret thing, one, one. I go two, three. I let the hand. I have time for the hand to move, so I like to keep it relaxed. Yeah. 